Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, the 18th of December, 2023. That means there is a new release of SharpCap today. SharpCap 4.1 has been out. There's a new release and there's a fantastic update to Planetary Live Stacking that I want to show you. So I'm going to jump into SharpCap and I'll just tell you the big news is surface stabilization in Planetary Live Stacking. So you've seen me do this before probably, but I'm going to go to test camera two, the high speed test camera. By default, you get this nice post-processed image of Jupiter, but I'm going to browse instead to a surface video. Let's uh, grab a sunspot. This video was just sent to me yesterday by one of the guys at the Astro Imaging channel. So this is a high resolution image. I think this, he said this was taken on a 178M. And let's jump right into the tool. So I'm going to go to Planetary Live Stacking and Enhancement. Forgive me for the dog whining in the background. And on the Stabilization and Alignment tab, you can see now that there is a surface mode. So we are aligning and stacking on our sunspot here. This is a very wavery video, but we are able to align on it. Got a little bit of a gridding pattern going on with this camera. Yeah, I probably want to set my sharpening at 100% scale. This is a large uh, capture. Up here you can see it's 1700 by 1300 pixels, so it's larger than my screen. But yeah, let's grab another uh, another sunspot video. Got a couple of more. So let's grab this guy's little archipelago of sunspots. Beautiful. This is the unprocessed footage. Wiggly and wavering, jumpy and blurry. But that's what it looks like stabilized in SharpCap. Beautiful. Adjust my display stretch here. Get a little more contrast. Beautiful. Let's say that as a PNG. Got one more sunspot. These last two, by the way, were sent to me by a member of Cloudy Nights. Thank you very much. Unprocessed footage. Stabilized. And again, it's live. Still live. Save that as a PNG. Okay. Now I want to show you what I'm really excited about is my main thing is not solar. It's not even planetary. My main thing is lunar. So I'm super excited for this. Let's uh, set this view on auto first. And jump into my lunar folder and I'm going to go. This is one of six panels from a quarter moon mosaic that I shot with my 1100 Edge HD and my ASI 183MC, which is a 20 megapixel astro camera. So this is quite a large image. It is uh, 5,496 by 3,672 pixels. I did that from memory and it's right on the screen right there. So this is the moon surface stabilized. If we jump in here and I'm going to come out of the tool. So the tool is a little bit slow. You can see the uh, uh, debayer pattern because I'm in uh, mono eight here. But let's jump to 100% and look at the actual video. So that is the video as recorded as playing which is a lovely video i mean just this is cool seeing the effect of the atmosphere is cool 
but it is also cool to jump into the tool and have it stabilized. And we're accumulating frames. Looks like I've got it set to 350. I don't know where that came from, but last time I used it, apparently. And uh, I'm going to jump. Actually, this is a color photo. So I'm going to jump to raw 8. Come back out to 100%. It's actually not a bad white balance. Not a bad white balance. Could be better. I'll get some color cast as I saturate it. Let's just jump this up there and see what 3 looks like. Yeah, and a nice pink moon going on there. Very red. And what I found I like to do, um, because the display update rate for these huge sensors, remember this is a, every frame is 20 megapixels, because the display update rate uh, drops pretty low, the controls can be a little bit sluggish. I like to go to the capture area and drop down and just choose something smaller like uh, 800 by 800 or even 640 by 640. And I just get a tight zoomed in fusion here, version here, and you can see that my display update rate is now a snappy 20 FPS again. So that means that I can rein in some of that red color cast. Leave it a little higher than green, which is a little higher than blue, hopefully. That's naturally what goes on with the moon. So yeah, now we're now we're cooking with gas and let's put that back up to the full sensor. Yeah, and that's much nicer. So you can start to see those colors. You do inevitably when you strongly uh, non-linearly stretch an image of the moon, you start to be able to see the background. The background is not black. And uh, just like the daytime, the sky is blue. Uh, the background around the moon will end up blue because of the scattered light uh, of the moon itself. Um, there are things we can do about that in advance post-processing, but for live viewing of the moon, uh, I'm just going to leave it. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about this color cast in the background. It doesn't bother me. So let's jump in to 100% and just find a nice spot and start sharpening. And again, my controls are going to be, let's do that trick again. Let's go down to 800 by 800. So I have snappy controls. And just see where we want to be with our sharpening. Maybe that's a bit too much. Something like that. I don't really have too much noise going on, so I'm going to leave the denoise alone. And then I'm going to come back out to my full sensor. Now we're accumulating frames a little bit slower. Again, they're very large frames. I should leave it on 100% so you can see the noise slip away. It's already largely gone at 100 frames. And we can scroll around now at the full resolution of the chip, stabilized. Let's go look at the uh, Apennine Valley. Or the Alpine Valley. You can just about make out the real live stacked. Definitely in the post stack version of this, the real is easily visible. So this is very exciting. I'm particularly excited to try this with my ASI 678 camera which has a little bit smaller pixels, a little bit better match to the focal ratio of the scope. 
but it also only has 8.3 million pixels instead of 20, mil 20 million pixels. So the uh, response should be a little bit snappier. There you go, surface stabilization in SharpCap 4.1. It is beautiful. Thanks for watching.